Hey guys, it's Charles again from TheMakersWorkbench.com. I just wanted to make a quick video to show off a project I made for a tutorial I wrote to help Jimmy DeResta in the right direction to get started with Arduino. Basically, I 3D printed a small box sign with Jimmy's signature DeResta logo in the middle, then I filled it with NeoPixel LEDs and an HCSR04 ultrasonic distance sensor. Finally, I connected everything together with an Arduino and coded things up to make it work. The end result is to have LEDs illuminate the sign when someone passes within a few feet of the ultrasonic sensor. And as you can see, when my hand passes in front of the ultrasonic sensor's path, the NeoPixels light up. You can find the code I used to make this happen in the full tutorial on TheMakersWorkbench.com. The illumination effects are endless when using individually addressable LEDs like NeoPixels, and here you can see that I've created a white strobe light effect. Another easy effect to make is a fading color pattern. Here you can see that I have the NeoPixels fading from red to white when the ultrasonic sensor senses something in front of it. Finally, I put the NeoPixels individually addressable LED feature to use and created a simulated fire effect with some help from some existing code that comes with the fast LED library. Before I wrap things up, I just want to show you how I have everything assembled. In the front, you can see the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor, and note that it's sitting just a little proud of the sign surface. This is important. Moving to the back, you can see the Arduino, a breadboard, and several jumper wires. With the box opened, you can see that I just hot glued the NeoPixels to the box and did the same with the ultrasonic sensor. Finally, the fuser is made from a single sheet of white printer paper that has been cut to fit the box. I want to thank Jimmy DeResta for letting me use his logo on the front of the sign, and I would also like to thank Voltivo and Cubacity.com for supplying the Excel Fill 3D printer filament used in this project. If you like this video and its accompanying tutorial, please consider becoming my patron on Patreon.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube.